Good day again and welcome to our channel. This is Green Thumb Philippines. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to propagate Diefenbachia Mary or Bumba Stick. But before that, let's roll our intro. So I have here a cuttings of our Diefenbachia Mary or Bumba Stick as others call it. So we are going to divide this into three parts. About 2 inches per cuttings. I'm going to get my blade and I have to cut this one into three parts. Ah, sa mga Pilipino nga palang nagre-reklamo sa English ko So sa mga toxic minded na Pilipino So I'm trying my best to speak in English Kasi most of my subscribers ay uh, nasa ibang bansa So intindihin nyo na lang <laughs> Hindi naman tayo ganun katalino eh So we have to air dry this one Okay So uh, I'm going to uh, put this one here at bottom of my bonsai so uh, there okay so we cannot plant it directly because uh, if we plant it directly into soil it will root rot so we have to wait for 24 hours for the complete air drying so after 24 hours this is a uh, complete air dry so uh, this one, and I'm going to make this, and this one is I'm going to give it to my friend because uh, he want uh, some Diefenbachia Mary in his uh, garden. So I give uh, one of the cuttings. So I have here my uh, uh, pot. So uh, one of my practices is to put some dry leaves at the bottom part because it will act as a uh, stopper of the drainage and a, uh, it up also as a uh, fertilizer as they uh, decompose when the days goes by so for now i'm going to add our soil mix so our soil mix composition is about uh, 50 percent of garden soil 40 percent of uh, cocoa peat and 10 percent of uh, rice hull so as you can see this is completely air dry so one of the tip is uh, don't use 100% uh, uh, garden soil because it will event eventually rot our cuttings. So we have to use 50% uh, of garden soil, 40% of uh, cocoa peat, and 10% of our rice hull. So uh, for now, let's uh, plant this one. So uh, in planting this one, we have to make it a little bit slanting or... Uh, just like this just plant it as in a slanting style it will be completely cover the whole uh, we call this cuttings and this one also so slanting and then we have to cover it like this okay and then one of my style and my practices is uh, I'm always adding our uh, Epsom salt okay to boost the process of our uh, of this okay to boost the process of the rooting rooting stage just a pinch of uh, Epsom salt magnesium sulfate and then I'm going to add a water a rain water or any tap water will do so uh, just a little bit of water just like that and then in the other side going to water it just a little bit okay so after this we have to place this one at the shaded part in our garden or in the shaded part of in our house so uh I'm going to put this one here the shaded part of my garden as you can see there's the ceiling and then I'm going to place this one in here so one of the tip is do not water it every day because it will eventually rot our cutting so just water it every fifth day or every five days okay so for now we have to wait for the result 
So after two months, this is the result of our propagation project. As you can see, they are growing so well and they are so beautiful and they are so healthy. So as you can see, this is uh, the simplest way of uh, propagation of our Diophenvacchia meri or uh, Bombastic. So as you can see, they are so beautiful and lovely. So uh, again, this is two months. So again, this is Green Thumb Philippines saying thank you. Uh, bye bye and I love you all. Thank you for watching.